Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a discussion video. Um, so in this video, I want to talk about uh, what to expect or what I expect um, in the Star Wars Battlefront 3 Season 3. Okay, so we don't know uh, that much about Season 3. All we really know is that it's Clone Wars related and the four heroes that we're going to get. That being Anakin, Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Count Dooku, and General Grievous. So I'm going to go ahead and just talk about the things that I expect. Um, so first and foremost, I do expect clone skins. I think that's pretty much a given at this point. Um, I'm not going to sit here and name every single battalion, but I do expect the exact amount if not more that were uh leaked in the game files that there was a guy that made a video on it but uh he pretty much just showed all the skins that are already in the files that are in the game already so i expect them to also be there as well um that's a given also um i expect two anakin skins um that being from episode three and also from the clone wars tv series the reason being for the Clone Wars TV series is because they've obviously have taken heavy, heavy inspiration from it. You know, uh, the reason why I say that obviously is because of the voice actors. They pretty much got everybody who voices uh, characters from the Clone Wars in to uh, voice the characters in game. So I, I pretty much feel like that's a given at this point. Um, Obi Wan Kenobi, I expect him to also have his Episode Three skin along with his skin from. Um, uh, the Clone Wars. I don't know why I can't remember words right now, but that's what I expect. Uh, I think it's called the Mandalorian armor. I hope. I hope to God he has that because that would be so beautiful. But I expect him to have that skin. Uh, Count Dooku. I only expect him to really have one skin because I cannot recall where we've seen him with multiple skins in the Clone Wars. Um, then again, I haven't finished it, so I'm probably uh, missing a lot. Um, Grievous, I expect him to have two skins. There's his basic skin where he's just Grievous with lightsabers naked, and then there's Grievous with the cape. So I expect those two. I feel like with the cape, that should not be hard to do. I mean, I know, you know, uh, EA, or DICE rather, I'm sorry. They they have a tendency to kind of under-deliver sometimes, and I just really don't see that being an issue with only two skins i just don't feel like that's a lot to ask for and i want to say another thing that i really expect is a clone wars era specific playlist that is pretty much self-explanatory i want a entire i want a i want an entire playlist based around clone wars where we can play strike clone wars blast conquest galactic assault so on and so forth i just think that Everybody wants Clone Wars, okay? That's what we've been crying about for like the last six or seven months. But finally getting it, that being said, give us an entire game mode or a, a playlist that's based around it. Now, and I don't mean the kind of playlist where you jump into a playlist and you'll play Galactic Assault, and then you'll play Conquest, then you'll play Blast. No, give us a specific like play, like a, its own section in the menu where we can play Clone Wars only Blast, Clone Wars only Galactic Assault, so on and so forth. Because, like I said, we've been crying about this for so long. We finally got it. Let us relish in all the Clone Wars stuff. Um, now, also, something else I expect from the Clone Wars season is they've already announced that heroes are going to cost credits. Reason being is because they figure if they can make you grind for credits to unlock characters, that will give you further incentive to buy actual cosmetics with real money which i'm okay with because that they gotta make money somehow this game does not have a season pass so to be able to fuel more of this content that's what they have to do so it's it it's it's what they it, you know it is what it is i don't really think it's anything to even be mad about we knew microtransactions were coming back and i feel like it's fair and it's an honest business policy you know uh you could use those credits to get more skins or you can buy heroes or you can use your you could save up your credits buy the heroes with the credits and use your actual money to buy skins it's completely up to you but nothing is paid to win in this game which i love but i expect the heroes to be 30 to 40 thousand credits i think 50 at the absolute most but that's what's going through my mind right now 30 to 40 50 at the absolute most and um i can tell you right now 50 thousand credits I think it's going to be, I'm cool with it personally because I'm grinding right now and I'm saving up all, every last bit of credits that I do get. So I'm cool with it personally. It doesn't bother me one bit, but 
I just think that they need to hurry up and let us know how much we're going to have to save up because I don't want it. You know, I, I just want to make sure I have all my bases covered. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm expecting. Um, I think all the heroes are going to roughly be the same. Like, they're not going to make Grievous 80,000 or, or, like, 40,000 and make Obi-Wan, like, 30. I highly doubt they'll do that. I want to say it's going to be... My, my gut feeling is saying 40,000. Like, in my gut, that's what it's telling me. But, like I said, 30 to 40 and 50 at the absolute most. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I wanted to just talk about what I expected in the Clone Wars season. Um, also, I can I think we're gonna get some uh, some star some more starfighters. I know we're gonna get. Well, I'm not gonna say I know, but I assume. Sorry, my phone just went off. I should have this thing on vibrate while I'm doing a video. Um, yeah, yeah. But um, um, Anakin starfighter, Obi Wan, Grievous. Um, but does Grievous even have a starfighter? I can't. I don't. I don't, I don't know. But I'm, I'm pretty sure Anakin, Obi-Wan, I wouldn't be surprised if we got like Jango Fett's, uh, what's it called? Um, I can't think of the name of his ship. It, ah, drawing blanks right now. Is it the slave one? I don't, that, that's Boba Fett's ship, ship right? Um, I don't know. I'm drawing blanks right now in my mind. But, um, but yeah, so Starfighters, um, to kind of recap everything I mentioned, it is clone skins, two Anakin skins, two Obi-Wan skins, two Grievous skins, one Count Dooku skin, Clone Wars era specific playlist, and uh, Hero Starfighters. And oh, also, I cannot believe I forgot this. Um, they said, Dennis said during the announcement that we can, ex they're starting, they're going to go deep into the Clone Wars starting with Geonosis. They said starting with as if, um, um, as if there's going to be more than one map. Well, I don't know how I forgot this. So I'm expecting there to be more than one map this season. Two or three at the absolute most. If I were to make an assumption on what maps they would be, it would most likely be Utapau. And probably it's a, it's a toss-up between Mustafar and Coruscant. But I'm thinking it's going to be Utapau if they do one extra map, which I think they will do. And obviously we got Geonosis, so I, I don't know why I mentioned that. It is self-explanatory. Self but, um... Yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm expecting from the Clone Wars series, or the Clone Wars season. Uh, I think it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. We've got the roadmap coming out tomorrow. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I, I hope they detail a lot of this on the roadmap. I, I but, but, you know, you never know. It's going to be Friday, so it's going to be, I'm going to look forward to that. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Let me know what you expect from the Clone Wars season. Um, and how you're enjoying Battlefront 2. So, that's it for this video. Again, hopefully, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a rating because it really helps the channel grow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, have a good day.